Well, hey everybody, glad to be back here with you in the fall once again. This is Roll Hot Outdoor Season 3, and I absolutely am ecstatic to get back out here in the deer woods and start hunting hard again, especially during the rut. As you can see behind me, the leaves are changing here. Haven't seen you since Kentucky, and everything's changed quite a lot in deer woods, and uh, it's getting to, getting to be that time of the year. It's mid-October, October the 16th today, and uh, We've been hunting pretty hard, as much as we can. I haven't hunted as much as what I usually do, just simply because I've been working a lot and try not to burn myself out before the rut gets here. But believe you me, I will be in the tree a lot when those bucks start chasing the does. So, um, but we've been, like I said, been hunting hard. And I have a hunt that I want to bring you all today that is absolutely the epitome of what Roll Hot Outdoors is always about. Family, friends, and the outdoors. And uh, it's just one of those hunts that I absolutely I almost feel sorry for you because you weren't there because of how much fun it was. It, it's a great hunt and we're just going to lead right into that and take you right there. It's going to be me and Harry in the tree. It's my birthday, October the 5th, when this hunt took place and uh, really excited about it. So you just go ahead and get right into the action and I'll be back with you here in a minute. You buddy, hey, listen, ain't nobody I'd rather share this with. Happy birthday, buddy, that was awesome. We actually, we knew this stand was hot. We hunted it yesterday, and we saw several deer in the morning, early morning and late morning. And this morning, we came in, we busted several deer out walking in. You know how it is. We get a little downtrodden about it. Excuse me as I look around. Me and Richard kind of have a, we kind of have a, I don't know, a knack for be sitting here talking about stuff and crap coming in. It'd be really cool to have a double. But we're actually here in a racket. Down here, we're on the on this top of this ridge where there's a bunch of oaks and there's a really steep drop off that goes down to a creek. We could hear deer walking down there and Richard actually spotted a couple. So, true to our form, this is the way it always happens. We're talking about that, whether or not they're gonna go up the hill and stuff. And then I get the old tap. I get the old tap on the head, and he's just like, Harry, he's like, there's deer right here, 24 yards. <laughs> Grab your bow. Walks right in here. Get right in the gap in this tree. Smoke it at 20 yards. <laughs> That's like a buddy Richard to say, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so cool, dude. That then deer came in. That's that's happened a couple times to us now. Or it will be so engrossed in something that deer just shows up. And he said 24 yards, grab your bow. And I've learned that when Richard says 24 yards, like, I mean, it's on us. And he, I never saw the deer until he pointed. Well, that was one exciting way to kick off the morning, wasn't it? Hadn't been in the stand 30 minutes, and Harry already had a big doe on the ground. And what a perfect shot he made. That was an absolutely, you couldn't have walked up and placed your finger on it any better where you wanted to hit her. Um, after he shot that deer, the neat thing about it was is me and him were talking about that spot we were hunting and there was a lot of acorns on the ground and I anticipated a lot of acorns being up there earlier on in the season. And uh, what I did was I went in there about a month and a half before and I cut a couple big access trails coming out of a thick bedding area and a travel area leading up onto that oak flat we were hunting. And that was so the deer weren't just wandering through there and coming into it at random. They had to find trails they could use uh, to lead up into it so Harry said why don't you talk a little bit about that give me the camera he said and you can do a helpful hints segment he said to go along with this hunt so I did and uh, but I think you'll be surprised with what happened while we were filming so 
let's get back to the action and it's not over yet. Well, here, me and Harry were conversing in the tree here. I'm going to give you a little uh, helpful tidbit of information for those of you watching at home. A lot of people know this and some people do it and some people don't. But me and him were just talking about how cool it was that this spot that we're at, it's a big oak flat as we've talked about on the side of this ridge. And uh, every year that there's a lot of oaks, it's always really hot. Um, it's really good hunting the first part of the first part of the season. I told Harry this year I come in here and I really did my homework and I set up trail cameras and I've been watching deer on this ridge for a long time. And I noticed them starting to pour in here really good when the acorn started dropping. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make this spot even better. This big pawpaw thicket behind me that Harry just shot that doe out of. It's a big massive thicket that leads down into another little creek bed. And all the deer filter up out of that end of this. Well, I said, instead of them just coming through it at random, I'm going to go and cut a couple nice, decent trails here. About a month and a half ago, I did this all the way down through that door of those deer bed. And sure enough, this morning, like clockwork, this deer come. Oh my God, there's a deer right here. Deer. I'm gonna sum this little clip up. That deer I'm came down the access trail. <laughs> Let me see that thing Here's why I'm emotional. Cause me and my best hunting buddy right here spent so much doggone time in the tree. And this morning he said, "You know something, dude? It's my birthday. Today's October 5th. It's my 23rd birthday." And I said, "You know." I said, there'd be no greater present for me. I said that if you could kill one this morning, I said, and we doubled up on my birthday. I said, just to, that would just cap everything off, but that'll never happen. And that's why when I was sitting here doing this interview and I looked down and I seen that, how that deer come in on us without us hearing it, I'll never know. Cause Harry was looking right that direction. I couldn't believe it. We've, <laughs> thank you, Jesus. I, I like it. Here we are. It's called rolling hot, folks. It don't get any more hot than that. Hey, folks. Here we are back at the scene of the crime. We got the old man around the camera for us. And we're going to go try to recover these deer for you. We're going to grab our arrows here, and then we're going to pick up the blood trails and go pick them up. Huh? Sure, you saw from the camera. I didn't go far. Nice. Let's see what I got on mine. Nothing for you. Blood soaked there. I like it. That's why I like it. Let's go see what we got. We'll get yours first. Folks, it's been, as you can see, an awesome day for us here on Richard's birthday. Happy birthday, Thank buddy. You. Thank you very much. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this, and RHO's off to a stellar start to the 2014 season. It's uh, What a birthday present, man. This has been awesome. No, no, uh, this is what hunting's all about, spending time with your family, 
and friends out in God's great outdoors and hunting and cool stuff like this happening and getting it to share getting to share it with each other is, is what makes it so awesome. Thanks for being here, man. I'm glad you were. Hey, no problem, man. I appreciate it and thanks for being with us. Remember to always roll well, on. Is that not an awesome hunt and a way to kick off the season? You know, I've said it time and time and again, and I'll stand on a soapbox and preach this, that it's not about the size of the animal you killed, but the experience you had while harvesting it. And I'm, I just can't get over how much fun I had on that hunt with Harrison. Uh, we absolutely had a ball, and what you couldn't see off camera was how excited we really were. We absolutely had more fun doing that than about any other hunt I can think of. Uh, I've killed bucks that I didn't have that much fun hunting. I mean, it just was a blast. And that's what hunting is about to me. It's not about the size of the animal. It's about your experience that you have while hunting, and um, time with family and friends like that is something to cherish, folks. And I, I must, I tell you what, I left something out at the beginning of the interview. I said, Roll Hot Outdoors is always about family, friends, and the outdoors, but I left out the first part there. My bad, and that was the good Lord. And without the good Lord, we couldn't enjoy any of this. He's the one who created it after all, and we need to thank him every time we're out in the woods and get to, get to share times like that together. But uh, really excited to get the season kicked off with that awesome double on my birthday. And uh, I can't wait to see what is to come. Uh, we got some really good shooter bucks we're after this year. One of them I'll give you a little sneak hint about. His name's Ocho. He's a big eight pointer. I've been watching for a little while. I got his sheds from last year. And uh, this year he blew into an absolute giant. And um, he's just a big, gorgeous eight this year, folks. He's a really tall tine, really wide and uh, we're definitely gunning for him this season and if there was a buck we were definitely going after that's one of them so we're gonna slip out here this evening actually and uh, see if we can't go harvest him dad's gonna have the bow in hand and i'll have mine for backup and uh, i'm really really excited to get to the tree it's about that time so until next time as we always say roll hot everybody and i'm gonna head off to the tree <laughs>